Good evening. I'm Robin Cameron, Vice Chair of the Montgomery County Advisory Board of the Greater Washington Community Foundation. It's my honor to welcome you to the 2023 Celebration of Giving. Even as we gather, we know that all of us come with hearts heavy with the crisis in the Middle East, as well as in the rise of hate and myriad other challenges facing our community. In times like this, I am reminded of the words of Howard Zinn. To be hopeful in bad times is not just foolishly romantic. It is based on the fact that human history is not only of cruelty, but also of compassion, sacrifice, courage, kindness. If we see only the worst, it destroys our capacity to do something. If we remember those times and places where people have behaved magnificently, this gives us the energy to act. That is why it's so important that you have chosen to join us tonight. This is the one night of the year when we bring together our incredible network of donors who give so generously to support our community with our local partners who work tirelessly to make Montgomery County a stronger, more equitable place to live. To say it plainly, you are surrounded by amazingly impactful people tonight. We know you will leave re-energized and inspired for the work ahead. Speaking of inspiration, we are especially looking forward to hearing from the incomparable Mary Pat Alkus, their 2023 Montgomery County Philanthropist of the Year. We are so grateful to Mary Pat for allowing us to shine a spotlight on her, knowing her example will inspire more people to act locally. I encourage everyone to access our virtual program booklet using the QR code posted above and in the lobby so you can read about Mary Pat, our supporters, and community partners. Of course, before we delve into our official report to the community, we must make some special acknowledgments of our supporters without whom this work would not be possible. You will find a full list in your virtual program booklet but I'd especially like to call out our lead event sponsors and community champions. At the benefactor level, we have Bethesda Magazine, Brown Advisory, Chevy Chase Trust, the Schoenberg Family Fund, and the Cliff and Deborah White Family Foundation. At the leader level, we have Darren, Claire, and Colin Alkus, the Scott and Patrice Brickman Family Foundation, Capital One, Care First, Blue Cross Blue Shield, the Leader Family Foundation, Neil and Jennifer Simon, Nick Snowden, and Linda and Bob Youngentob, EYA. We are grateful to our community champions and institutional partners for providing the support which fuels the Community Foundation's leadership work, and to our corporate sponsors for underwriting the costs of our event ensuring that we can bring together our incredible nonprofit grantees, supporters, and community partners. We are also grateful to our celebration host committee. These individuals did a wonderful job spreading the word about tonight's event to ensure many friends could come out to hear Mary Pat's story. Everyone, let's give a big round of applause to our host committee, celebration sponsors, and community champions. Next, we must give a special shout out to Scott and Jillian Copeland and their team at MoCo 360, which produces Bethesda Magazine, represented tonight by Jen Farkas, Chief Operating Officer, and Ann Talent, Executive Editor. In addition to the beautiful profile of our Philanthropist of the Year, this holiday edition includes the annual Guide to Giving, featuring grantees vetted by our Sharing Montgomery Fund, a collaboration with donors who pool resources to support nonprofits making a difference throughout the county. Please be sure to grab a copy of the magazine before you go so you can read about the amazing work of these organizations. Again, thank you, Scott, Jillian, and the entire MoCo 360 team for helping spread the word about our nonprofit partners 
and the inspiring example of Mary Pat. Of course, we want to acknowledge Imagination Stage for hosting tonight's event. Thank you sir, for so graciously opening the doors to your beautiful theater. We also have many elected officials and public sector colleagues joining us tonight. We've always had close partnerships, but they were supercharged in recent years, enabling us to work together to maximize both public and private dollars to meet the community's needs. We recognize that we've had to share our public officials with many other convening events tonight, um, but to those of, of you who we are uh, blessed to still have in the audience tonight, we ask that our elected officials and representatives stand so that we can recognize you. <laughs> Finally, I must thank the Community Foundation board members and staff for your dedication and hard work this past year. It is truly an honor to serve with you. Please stand. Before we turn the spotlight on our honoree, I'd like to bring up the Executive Director of Montgomery County to share your, the report to the community. I give you the fabulous Anna Hargrave. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. I must start by acknowledging a very special person, Sally Rudney, our founding executive director for Montgomery County, who passed away this fall. We are so grateful that her darling husband, the love of her life, Scott Huckman, is here with us tonight. Thank you so much, Scott. To truly appreciate what the Community Foundation has accomplished, we must first tell you a bit about this incredibly brilliant woman who built our network of donors and community partners across Montgomery County. I'd like you to turn your attention to the screen so a few friends can tell you why she's so special. With Sally, um it wasn't a just, just about creating this you know, tax efficient structure, it was about how to make this organization be a huge differentiator for nonprofits. And she did it in so many ways, and subtly even. She, she was so passionate about the needs of the community that building this bridge from the business community to nonprofits was you know exactly what she was cut out to do. Creating this is, is really centralized the ability to bring dollars and help to nonprofits in a meaningful way. Sally had a vision for how she could help to make Montgomery County an even better place. I met Sally through the candles. I think Montgomery County uh, got a great boost um, in, in its philanthropy when she work with the Kendalls and with others to establish the Community Foundation. Uh, things changed tremendously after Sally came into our lives. She connected us to individuals who cared about our programs. She connected us with other people, other nonprofits who also did similar work. And she has been a tremendous sounding board over the years, not just for me, but other people in the organization. Not only her knowledge of the county and the not-for-profits in it, but her passion for what she did and her focus on customer service and helping donors figure out what mattered to them and figuring out the best way to connect them so they could have an impact um, and they could help those in need in those areas within the county. Sally worked with hundreds of people and businesses during her 17-year tenure, helping them discover the tremendous joy that can come from thoughtfully giving to the causes they care about around the world, across our region, and especially right here in Montgomery County. Having witnessed her incredible leadership in action, I was always impressed by how she brought together people to tackle problems 
that seemed insurmountable. We are especially grateful for her brilliance in creating our Sherry Montgomery Fund, the Community Foundation's first leadership initiative fo focused exclusively on helping our low-income neighbors. She designed the process to bring together caring neighbors who share our passion for bringing more, uh, building a more equitable and vibrant county for all. She knew that by connecting with other philanthropists, hearing directly from residents, talking with visionary nonprofit leaders, we could discover new and better ways to make our community stronger and achieve more than any of us could alone. This experience also empowered people to articulate their philanthropic priorities and gain new insights about how to help their favorite organizations. She would have been proud to know that the Community Foundation granted over $9.5 million last year to organizations based in Montgomery County. That, yeah. that was made possible thanks to the individual and corporate funds people created to support their favorite causes, plus many who pooled resources through Sherry Montgomery and other leadership initiatives. From human services to education, the arts, and more, our donors are supporting hundreds of organizations that are vital to the economic and civic health of our county. Of course, I'm certain Sally would have followed up to ask, but what's next? The answer is we are embarking on a regional campaign grounded in economic justice that will grow opportunity and secure prosperity for all. There are two pillars of this campaign which will make a profound impact on our region now and into the future. The first is focused on powerful economic strategies focused on families experiencing the deepest disparities in health, education, income, and housing so that we can work to close the racial wealth gap that undermines our entire region. We started with a $1 million grant investment in the Guaranteed Income Pilot MoCo Boost, led by the county, which is providing 300 families with $800 a month uh, for two years. So instead of merely surviving, they can forge pathways out of poverty. This year, we are also launching Brilliant Futures, a ch ch children's savings program. The plan is to partner with local elementary schools by saving $1,000 for each kindergartner, and then up to $1,000 each year until they graduate. They'll get to redeem this investment to pursue higher education, to start a business, put a down payment on a home, or take steps that will lead to their financial stability. It's thrilling to think about what those young people will do with those assets, but I'm just super excited to tell them about it. Imagine telling a child, we believe in your brilliant future so much, we're making a down payment for it today. Of course, even as we're dreaming up that future, we must take steps to ensure that the Community Foundation will have the resources to continuously innovate and step up when the community needs us. That's why the second pillar of the campaign is endowing Greater Washington. We are building our own endowment, which supports all of our leadership work, plus the endowments focused on each lo local jurisdiction, helping our donors to sustain their favorite causes, and empowering our nonprofit partners to create their own dedicated endowments that will fuel their success into the future. We are grateful that many generous donors have collectively given over, wait for it, $50 million to the campaign to date. Of course, we know this journey will require us to galvanize more people than ever, challenging them to believe that we can truly build a community where everyone has what they need to thrive. Now, for inspiration on how to set and achieve big goals, you can look to our 2023 Montgomery County Philanthropist of the Year, Mary Pat Alkis. Our board created this honor to both educate people on the growing needs in Montgomery County and raise up the examples of those who have made a profound difference. In recognition of our founding board chair, each year we present the honoree with the Clifford M. Kendall Award. 
As you can see, our list of past honorees is quite an illustrious group. While they give to many causes, they share a common practice of becoming deep partners with our nonprofits, rolling up their sleeves to get things done. And our 2023 honoree is no exception. Time and time again, Mary Pat's generosity and leadership have been game-changing for vital organizations across the county. I'd like you to turn your attention to this video so a few friends can tell you about what makes her such a transformational philanthropist. Mary Pat is that person you need in the room. She is so incredibly smart and strategic and dedicated to the mission. No matter what the challenge, she is gonna be in it with you, helping you figure out the next steps. She puts her whole heart and soul in everything that she does. She is an activator. She's willing to jump in and dive in and do whatever it takes to make it work. She is an absolute asset to Montgomery College and our county and the communities that we serve. One of my first experiences with Mary Pat was learning about her kid giving circle that she created when her kids were in middle school. They learned about the needs in the community, the nonprofits that helped fill these needs. I'm so fortunate that from such a young age, we were introduced to so many of the amazing organizations in our community and taught that we could make an impact. I remember as a kid being surprised to learn how many kids my age, just like me, at the end of the day, that didn't have enough food at the table or that didn't have a safe place to go after school. At the Community Foundation, we have a strategic grant-making fund called Sherry Montgomery, which brings together people who share our passion for making our community a stronger, more equitable place. When Mary Pat got involved, she dove head and heart first in the way she always does. She has stepped up to galvanize people, help them understand how they can get involved. And for us, that's resulted in growth in our Sherry Montgomery endowment and a nearly doubling how much we're giving out to the community every single year. One of the things Mary Pat um, was instrumental in, in changing with Sherry Montgomery was for the Community Foundation to make bigger grants, make a bigger impact. For her, learning through Sherry Montgomery, getting to know great organizations like Horizons and Montgomery College has just been game changing because it gave her an opportunity to bring all of her gifts and talents and really help advance those missions. At Horizons Greater Washington, we provide nine years of programming for students, primarily focused on addressing the summer learning gap that happens at the end of one school year and the beginning of the next one. She's been involved with Horizons to make sure that every student is able to have the best opportunities possible. Because of Mary Pat and her generosity personally, but also what she's helped to leverage, we have grown and become sustainable as an organization because of the work that she has done and because of the other partners that she's brought into the work and are incredibly grateful for everything she's done. Thanks to you know, the connection with the Greater Washington Community Foundation, we were introduced to, to Mary Pat. She has dedicated herself, um, her time, talent, and treasure to the ACES initiative which sees students through Montgomery County Public Schools to Montgomery County to one of the several institutions situated within universities at Shady Grove. Mary Pat is looking beyond just the tuition and the fees and the books. One of my uh, most fond memories of Mary Pat was seeing her at commencement. We're talking about hundreds of students who are there to receive their credential. A lot of students, the first in their family to receive such a credential and the level of, of excitement and engagement and um, empathy that she really exudes when she embraces our students um, on that day is really a, a microcosm of Mary Pat. Mom, thank you so much for teaching both of us firsthand what it means to be a servant leader and showing us what an incredible impact one person can have on the people and the community that they serve. I love you. Mom, thank you for being a role model for what it means to truly and earnestly dedicate yourself, your time, your energy, your intellect, and your skill set towards making your community a more equitable place. Mary Pat, you are the whole deal. You're amazing. Thank you, Mary Pat. You have made a tremendous impact in the lives of hundreds of Horizon students. So many people are in better situations 
because of her. And I'm just proud to know her. Thank you for all that you have done to help make Montgomery County a stronger, more equitable place. And especially, thank you for allowing us to shine a light on you as our 2023 Montgomery County Philanthropist of the Year. In lieu of a traditional, you know, um, acceptance speech, we've got a treat. Uh, we're going to have an Oprah-style fireside chat <laughs> led by our very own Tonya Wellens, President and CEO of the Greater Washington Community Foundation. Tonya, take it away. So thank you all for joining us this evening. It's such a delight to have you here. Can I just start by saying I am completely geeked out to have this conversation with Mary Pat in front of, you know, just a few hundred of our closest friends. Um, where do we start, Mary Pat? <laughs> I tell you, let's start with the backstory. Um, you know, we've known you as this financial powerhouse, as a game-changing philanthropist, but let's start by telling our friends and family how it all started. How'd you get here? So, um I'm from New York, not from Montgomery County, although I do feel like Montgomery County is my home now. And um, I'm the oldest of four children, and um, my sister and I were talking a little bit about this, about our backstory. And um, our parents did not grow up with any any wealth. Um, they both were the first in their family to go to college. Um, they couldn't afford college. They lived at home. They worked jobs while they were while they were in college, and they were both um, grateful to receive safety net support that allowed them to achieve their college dream. My mother um, was supported by the Catholic Church. Her sister was a nun and was able to get her free tuition at a Catholic college in Pittsburgh. My father was ROTC, and so the U.S. government um, subsidized his college education, and because of their others believing in them and supporting them, their four children not only went to four-year Tawny universities, but we all have graduate degrees. Um, so what, all of, what our story, our family story has taught me is really the transformational power of education. Um, and we, um, we really just feel, Darren and I both feel so grateful to be involved with organizations here in the county that, that do some amazing work. Wow, um, I thought I knew you. <laughs> I really appreciate um, the family story, the, 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 the generational um, con co commitment to giving back and to investing in education. So, speaking of Darren, hi Darren. <laughs> When you and Darren moved to Montgomery County with the, kid, with the children, 2002, um, you very quickly got engaged in community work. Tell us how that all started. Well, we moved here and we had two small children. They were four and six, so the first couple of years were spent um, getting into our new jobs, getting our children acclimated in their schools, and sort of rooting ourselves in our, in our little community of Potomac. Um, but a couple years into our, our time here, I was approached by my friend Susan Freed and her daughter Maddie, who are here in the audience, um, to, for my daughter Claire and I to join them in a mother-daughter giving circle. And I thought, hey, I've got a middle school daughter. This might be something, something good, a bonding experience for the two of us. What I didn't realize was Susan invited me into the rest of my life. Um, she introduced me to the amazing Sally Rudney and, and her partner in crime, Anna Hargrave. And the Community Foundation facilitated this rather small mother-daughter giving circle. And I think Sally was the kind of person who knew that while this is small, there, there's kernels in this group that are gonna yield great benefits to the Community Foundation and to the community. And Susan and I, I think, have both um, 
bin those kernels um, to try and promote what's going on in, my, in, in, in the county and, and with the community foundation. So Sally, in the way she always could, would invite you to the next thing. So she invited me first to join Sharing Montgomery and then invited me to join the board, uh, the, the affiliate board here in Montgomery County, invited me to chair the Sharing Montgomery Committee, <laughs> invited me to join the Greater Washington Community Foundation Board, and invited me to chair the Investment Committee. Um, and all of those felt like invitations, like, yes, I'll do it. I will, I, yes, Sally, I, I will follow you, yes, because they made it all so, along the way I was treated to site visits to learn about all the amazing organizations doing incredible work in this region, and so it was easy to say yes to each and every step because she inspired, and Anna does this you know, each and every day for all of you, um, you know, who, who have had an opportunity to work with Sally and Anna. Um, Anna is just a, a true inspiration and, and she can help anyone figure out what their, what their second act is in their life. You've shared all of our trade secrets. You know, the invitation, <laughs> Anna. The amazing team. So, um, interestingly, two of your um, prize nonprofit partners teamed up to nominate you for this award, and I have to give you a shout out. Um, Horizons Greater Washington. Yay. <laughs> and Montgomery College. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us how you got connected to them. We heard a little bit about it in the video, but tell us a little more. Well, there's going to be a theme. You're going to get it really, really quickly. Um, it was the Community Foundation. Um, Sally invited me to the, uh, an early conversation at Montgomery College about the ACES program. Um, it, this was just when it was an idea, when MCPS and Montgomery College and universities at Shady Grove and some private philanthropy were sitting around a table dreaming about a model that could introduce kids who might not otherwise go to college to the idea of going to college while they're at MCPS and then they'll go on to Montgomery College and then they'll finish their four-year degree at the universities at Shady Grove. And it was really, uh, it, truly inspirational and early on Darren and I s said, we've gotta be a part of this. And so we funded an ACES, our first ACES scholarship, and we've continued to invest in the ACES program. And um, I can tell you that some of those pictures in the video were of the annual scholarship luncheon, where we both have just had the most amazing experience sitting down with these truly inspirational first-generation college goers that we've, that we've supported. Um, and so the Community Foundation introduced me to Montgomery College. On the other, on the other hand, with Horizons Greater Washington, I, I knew them first. They came to my children's school, Norwood School. They partnered with Norwood. The summer camp would take place on the Norwood campus. But when I got to introduce to Horizons, I realized they, as they were growing, they were desperate for additional sources of funding. And I was on the Sharing Montgomery Grants Committee. So I said, wow, why don't you apply to Sharing Montgomery? And for you nonprofit partners who have applied to grants, Sharing Montgomery or others, you know, it's, it's difficult to write that first grant. Horizons worked really hard on it, applied for their first Sharing Montgomery grant and did not get it. But here's what's so amazing about the Community Foundation. Anna, who actually called me to say, I'm sorry, Mary Beth, they're not gonna get, they're not gonna get funded this year because they didn't really capture the grant writing the way we needed them to. They didn't highlight Montgomery County enough their work in Montgomery County. She said, tell them to call me. I'll coach them on how to do this better next year. Well, with their coaching, with Anna's coaching, Horizons Greater Washington got that funding the very next year and has received funding from Sharing Montgomery every year since then. And it's, it's just that amazing vital support, which I, I love that Sally and Anna always called it the good housekeeping seal of approval for nonprofits if you if you are funded by Sherry Montgomery. It's not the largest grant you'll ever get, but it's one of the most impactful because it, it really tells people here in the county that, that you've been vetted by an amazing organization like the Community Foundation. You're sharing other trade secrets. <laughs> sharing is a gateway grant, uh, and the other secret is that, and this is for our nonprofit leaders in the 
in the room if you ever apply for a grant and you are not selected, ask for a meeting with the program officer and they will give you advice on you know, what was the, the strengths of your application, the weaknesses of your application. It is part and parcel of what we do. So we're getting to the good part now. When we were um, telling everyone about your selection as the 2023 Philanthropist of the Year for Montgomery County, one of your friends said, Mary Pat is a verb. I can personally attest to it, having um, spent time with you, Mary Pat, uh, chairing our investment committee, and she already told the story. She started on sharing, um, chaired the Montgomery County Advisory Board, moved on to the investment committee, chaired the investment committee, became a member of the Board of Trustees for eight years. When Mary Pat goes in, she goes all in. Mary Pat is a verb. How do you do that? Well, um, I, I don't know that I'm a verb, but... Uh, <laughs> we can tell you, <laughs> you're a verb. <laughs> but um, what's the secret for me has been finding the sort of sweet spot of... And, and again, I'll, I'll coin what Anna taught me many, many years ago, which is really the time, treasure, and talent. Um, I'm an institutional investment advisor. I, I have strong financial skills. Um, it, it was an easy yes for an organization who needed help with either investment or financial advice. And if I was able to give that, it, it gave me a sense of satisfaction that, that was sort of a two-way street. So, so I've, well, I've really tried to focus, as I do like to go all in. I, don't, I can't say yes to everything because when I do say yes to you, I, I really take it seriously and I believe that um, I want to give my all. So, um, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess time, treasure, talent, the combination for me, um, that, that sort of nexus of all three has really um, helped fuel what I do in, in philanthropy. Well, I know for sure that the Community Foundation's um, investment strategy uh, is better because of you. It is stronger because of you. So speaking of better and stronger, <laughs> I know that you care about um, nonprofit growth and sustainability. You care about sticky assets. <laughs> that's, a coin, that's a very pet coin term. Um, talk to us about your commitment to really building sustainability with, within the nonprofit sector and uh, through endowments specifically. So my professional career, I advised very large foundations and endowments, colleges and universities, private family foundations, um, pension plans, uh, large sums of money, how to invest in order to achieve your long range goals. And in that process, I got to see the power that sustainability, that an endowment could have on an organization. Um, and so when I then, in my second act, was you know, no longer on the, on the investing side, I moved to philanthropy, and I'm, ch I'm sitting on all of these boards and helping people figure out how they can, you know, how they can survive. Um, I really, um, I really tried to um, bring my financial history to bear, to 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 say why can't other even small nonprofits why can't they all think about having that first gift every year, of your, the, the first day of your new fiscal year, be from some form of endowment, something that's sustainable. Isn't that a luxury? You know, I watch colleges and universities live on that. It's a, a luxury. And, and why can't these you know, vital nonprofits, the community foundation included, um, be, be more sustainable? So as Tonya knows, in, in my time on the Community Foundation Board, I was constantly pushing um, my peers and, and the Community Foundation to and think, me. yes, to Antonia, to think about talking to donors about endowing the Greater Washington Community Foundation. And I, I'm so pleased that this capital campaign not only has that as an important piece of the, of the, um, the campaign, 
but that donors, and I think Tonya's been pleasantly surprised to see how donors are like, yeah, you're right. You know what? That does make a lot of sense. You do great work, and we'd like to know that you could do this great work forever. Um, and and for, for our nonprofit partners, I had this dream that however small, you could start an endowment and talk to the right donor, not every donor, but, but every, every nonprofit has that board member, that person who's willing to make a stretch gift, um, who, who might be able to think about providing better sustainability for, that, for their favorite nonprofit. And as Mike mentioned, with Horizons, I, I was able to be that donor for Horizons. And in fact, the Greater Washington Community Foundation now offers this wonderful nonprofit endowment product that allows nonprofits to invest alongside the other assets at the Community Foundation at incredibly low cost within a very sophisticated investment strategy. And, you know, Horizons, I'm proud to say, was the first um, nonprofit endowment. And, and yet that, that story is now resounding with other nonprofits who are like, gosh, we never thought we could do this, but maybe we can. Um, and so, I, you know, I, I, I think when I think about my time with, with the nonprofits that I love and with the Greater Washington Community Foundation, I think the most satisfying thing for me is that we, we crossed that finish line, that thing that I, that dream that, that I had, that, that we could do this for other nonprofits. Um, we're there and we're doing it. We are. And Mary Pat is, is being modest, <laughs> like she often is. Mary Pat was responsible for designing the nonprofit endowment product that we now make available, and she brought along the co her colleagues at uh, Greater Horizons to be the first. So let's give her a round of applause for that. Thank you. So you've accomplished so much um, over 20 years. I didn't realize it had been 20 years. I guess the invitations just kept coming and coming. <laughs> Tell us um, what advice would you offer to members of the audience um, as they're getting started? What's the, what's the secret sauce? Well, I mean, for me, the secret sauce was the Community Foundation. So, um, it, you know, if you're, a, if you're a donor or a budding philanthropist and, and you're not sure how to, how to take that next step, I'd say, have you met Anna Hargrave? <laughs> um, she, have you met Tonya? The, the, the staff at the Community Foundation are just, um, phenomenal at match. They're matchmakers. They're philanthropic matchmakers. They they've they taught me how to think like a philanthropist, and and they do it. They've done it for so many of you here in the room that I know are um, are enthusiasts for the community foundation. Um, for nonprofit leaders, as I know we have so many of you here, um, I, I'd invite you to dream big and and think of the community foundation as your partner to do that. Whether it's, as Tonya said, you know, applying for grants and seeking advice, um, we're here for that. But if you're ready to take that step, that first foray into your own sustainability, um, you know, come, come talk to us about uh, the nonprofit endowment fund because, and, and what we can do for you there. Because it's not just helping a nonprofit open an endowment fund, but it comes with all the breadth and depth of experience that the Community Foundation has, like talking to your donors about planned giving. Um, you know, something that is, can be so impactful, a bequest gift, um, you know, to any organization. And um, the Community Foundation has that talent in, in their staff. And if, and if you're a partner with us, you're gonna have access to that, to that talent. So um, no matter what, what you represent, donor, nonprofit leader, potential donor, future donor, um, it's the Community Foundation. They're, they're, the, they're the glue that, that can make it all happen. They certainly did for me. You're being very, very kind to us. Tonight is about you. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I really, really do, Mary Pat. Um, we are, I can't believe the time is going by so quickly. I feel like we just sat down for this talk. Um, but I want to create space for you to share what's on your heart. Share what's top of mind, deep in your heart for you as we wrap up our conversation? Well, um, that, the article in Bethesda Magazine was beautiful, and, and I, you know, I'm so grateful to, to the staff at MoCo360 who just did a beautiful job with it. But the one thing I'll take issue with was the title, 
which is the power of one. And I would say that it's the power of two. Um, I'm just the lucky one who gets to be the front person. But to think that, it, that this is just me, um, you know, my husband Darren is my lifelong partner in all things, but um, in this philanthropic journey, he is 100% my partner. I feel like I'm the lucky one who gets to go out and intersect with all of these wonderful nonprofits. And I think someday when, when his workload um, slows down, a lot of you should take note of when, when Darren Alkis retires. He, he'll be, he'd make a phenomenal board member. Um, he just doesn't have time. <laughs> So I would say it's 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 the power of two. You're just you're just getting the one up here, um, and then you know to my children who um, I asked to see the video in advance because I thought I would cry and I did the first time and I did again the second time, um, but to my two amazing children who I'm just blown away by every single day, um, I I can't tell you how much it meant to me to to have you guys sort of talk about your experience and I know that I know that you both have been moved by your relationship with the community foundation both my kids have small endowment funds of their own at the community foundation so if you're parents I'd encourage you to think about that if you're if you're looking for ways to start your children on their own philanthropic journey um, so I'd just say thank you to my family to my sister who's here who came from New York um, she's an amazing nonprofit leader in her own right, and she's my inspiration in so many things. Um, so I'm, I'm so grateful to have her here and my friends. Um, and to all of you here in the audience and, and you've valuable community members and partners to the Community Foundation, I just feel like, I feel so lucky to know all of you and to have worked with so many of you, um, to be inspired by so many of you. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful. I, this is a, this gets, that's the word for this, grateful. I agree. Mary Pat Alkis. <laughs> 2023 Philanthropist of the Year, Montgomery County. So thank you, Mary Pat. Thank you, all of you. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out before I turn the program back over to, to Catherine. Um, I just want to say thank you all again for, um, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Mary Pat, for all that you do and all that you've done. Um, I want to give a big shout out to the entire team of the Greater Washington Community Foundation. Please just wave your hands again. Thank you all very much. Thank you to the advisory board of Montgomery County. Thank you all very much. And to the amazing Anna Hargrave. <laughs> and to all of our community foundation trustees, past and present. Thank you so much for all that you do and have done. Catherine, over to you. Good evening. I am Catherine Leggett, the proud chairperson of the Community Foundation Montgomery County's Advisory Board. I have just been blown away this evening. The stories that we have heard about Mary Pat are just inspiring. They have touched my heart, and I certainly hope that they have touched yours. And Mary Pat, we are so grateful to you, your husband, and your family for what you have done for our county and for allowing us to shine a light on you tonight. We've made a virtual guest book so that everyone will have the opportunity to congratulate you with a personal message. You have lots of friends and family here, and they definitely want to 
applaud you and share with you their perspective about how great you are and how much you have given to our county. We will send the link to our post-event thank you email and everyone here will have access to using it on your phone. So you'll just access the QR code that will be posted throughout the lobby and it will be posted on the screen. But before we leave and we close this evening, I have one special announcement to make. It is my delight to report that in honor of Mary Pat's inspiring leadership, Craig and Pat Rupert and Cliff and Debbie White have teamed up to offer a $50,000 challenge match for our Sharing Montgomery endowment. $50,000. Your contribution to the endowment is extra special because it will keep giving to our community in perpetuity, enabling the Community Foundation to make game-changing investments in vital organizations, many of whom are here tonight. And so we're asking you to please give. And I want to give a special shout out to the Rupert and White families, your gift will be matched dollar for dollar, doubling your impact. As you leave, be sure to grab this document. Take this card with you home. Take the next steps. This card includes options on how you can give to the challenge match plus other ways that you can get involved in the campaign. You can do it tonight before you leave. You can do it when you get home. You can do it tomorrow, but we just want you to do it. <laughs> and there is the QR code above me that all you have to do is take out your phone, put your camera up, and hold it to the screen and the link will pop up for you to give. Now, we're coming to an end. So please join us this evening in a reception. There are delicious food stations throughout the facility. A New England station with crab cakes, New England station, a New Orleans station with gumbo, and back by popular demand, a poke bowl station. You'll find that this group here is one of the most generous, passionate business leaders and organizations that you could ever meet. So we are asking you to please network. Don't run out the door. Enjoy the food and enjoy everyone who is here tonight. Meet and greet. Share your business cards. Some of you have the old-fashioned kind and some of you have the phone kind, but share it. I hope that you will all make new connections tonight and like Mary Pat and her family, discover how you too can help make our community better and stronger. In closing, I wanna say, please give, give, and give more. <laughs> For anyone who is new, please join us. For our long-term friends, long time friends, friends of who have been along the journey with us, please continue to help us uplift our community. Thank you and enjoy the food and networking. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>